Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the latest um, updates for ProRacing Dashboard, which are key binding and in-game overlay widgets. I'm going to install here the latest version. You'll have an icon on your desktop. Open it. And now, as you can see, you have two tabs, device key mapping and in-game DirectX overlays. Now, as you can see here on the left side, I have my devices, keyboard, my G25 and my Fanatec pedals. And on this side, I have the actions. The first six are to move around the in-game overlay and the last two for the uh, to scroll through your web dashboard so let's start mapping the uh, the overlay movement i'm gonna choose my g25 i'm gonna click on up and i'm gonna choose um, some buttons here up down left right for the next and previous i'm gonna choose the uh, shifters shifter down and for my web dashboard i'm gonna choose some keyboard keys so i click on keyboard click on here left and right now that's it my actions are all mapped it is very important that you need to exit from this section on this screen for the bound keys to start working so i'm gonna go here on the DirectX overlay step i'm going to enable them you can disable them whenever you want and I'm gonna start the listener now if you if I open my dashboard I'm gonna click on the left and uh, right buttons on my keyboard and as you can see um, I'm not using my mouse it's not moving I'm using the key on my keyboard and I am scrolling through my default dashboards okay so let's start the game now and let's see some uh, in-game overlays Now this is of course only implemented for race room experience for now. So all this only works with race room at the time. Okay, I'm gonna choose some single player mode. Just to show you. you hate waiting okay in the game drive the overlay which is start moving uh, start appearing when you start driving or out of the bit. Now of course my uh, FPS is low because I am recording. But as you can see by default the overlays are all here on the on the um, left hand side. I can start moving around. Use my buttons. And I'm moving around the overlays. Using my up, down, left, right buttons. So I'm gonna put this lab info thing down here. Let's say there. I'm gonna choose next one. As you 
Where's the tire info? Up there. I'll leave it there for now. FPS, I can leave it there as well. I can put the relative timing wherever I want. Of course, I can move it to the other side of the screen. But as you can see, um, uh, once you move these, they are saved automatically, so you don't have to move them every time. Um, that's it really. Hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching.